<laughs> hey Survivor fans, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my Survivor Puzzle app. The link is in the video's description. I think more than anybody else, as a jury member, I have to be the most open-minded out of anybody out there. I really have to be willing to listen to their answers and be open to what they're telling me because I have spent the least amount of time with these people than anybody else. Besides Natalie, of course. I spent a lot of time with Natalie. Natalie has a lot to prove. She has such an amazing story. The fact of being voted out first and then getting back into the game and becoming part of the final three is remarkable. She should be extremely proud of herself. I'm proud of her. But I don't know if she can still earn my vote as winner of Winners at War because I'm not sure if, even though I spent so much time on the edge of extinction, I'm not so sure that the person who came from the edge should be the winner of Winners at War. Um, I almost feel like she's the winner of the edge for sure. You know, and if there was a trophy for that, she's earned it and she deserves it. But I don't know if I feel that the title and the person who needs to represent this season is, is her. And also, I feel like there are other people who are in the end with her who I definitely want to hear from and earn my respect. Tony, for example. Um, I only got to know him over two days, but I enjoyed my time with him. He earned my respect in that very short period of time. He made it the whole way through this game, never had a vote cast against him, won many immunity challenges, and rumor has it from all the people that I've talked to, seemed to be in control of the game. And that, that sounds like a winner to me. That seems like somebody who's deserving of the title. But I want to hear the facts. I've heard all the rumors and the opinions of all the people who played with him, but I want to hear it straight from his mouth and not from everybody else's mouth. Um, because that's all I've had to work with so far is just everything from everybody else's mouth, and I want to hear it straight from his. Michelle is very unique to me in the fact that I've never spoken one word to her. I've never even said hello, introduced myself, nothing. So that is a hard spot to be in, and I'm sure she feels the same way about me. She's probably assuming that I would never vote for her just based on the fact that I don't know her at all. However, she has earned my respect. I feel like she's been on her own for a very long time in this game, and the fact that she's made it to where she's made it, not by necessarily being carried, I feel like she's fought hard. She's won immunities. She's, um, I feel, used some of her skills to convince people that other people need to go before her. And, you know, she's, she's definitely earned my respect. I think she's worked hard to be there. However, I don't think she's had complete control the entire time and I feel the winner really has to have more control of their journey and I don't think she's been in control of her journey the entire time. There is not one characteristic that sums up a great survivor player, that's for sure. Uh, we are all very different people. The winners are a wide range of, you know, men and women, old and young, conservative, um, spontaneous, um, a planner, uh, you know, it, you can't label a survivor winner. Um, we're all very different people. The, really, the only thing that we have in common is the fact that we've all won. Um, and we get to be a part of a very cool group, that's for sure. I'm very excited to be in in that, um, that club, I guess you would say. Uh, I feel honored to be a part of it. And I feel like we all bring a very unique quality to the title of a Survivor winner. I feel like we all have something in common though, and that is just the fact that we all 
appreciate everything we've gotten out of this game. And I feel like that's an appreciation that will never fade. We're all very excited to be a part of such an epic adventure, show, family. Um, there are so many people out there who would dream just to be a part of the show for one day. The fact that I've done the show three times now, my husband has been a part of the show six times now. Gosh, I, we're the two luckiest people in the world and um, we're very aware of that. We're not taking that for granted.